Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. What the heck is an EHCP? How is it different from an IEP? Holy smokes, this feels like alphabet soup. Education, health, and care plan, that's an EHCP. An IEP is an individualized education plan. They're similar, but they're different. An IEP is really focused on the school year. It's a legal document generated by the school, and it sets out the kid's goals and assesses the kid and what they should be doing in the school. If the school is not able to provide the services, then they should be producing a different type of document, this EHCP, which will specify services that the child needs outside of the school. This could include health plans, this could include diet, this could include physical therapy or behavior therapy or things that aren't offered by the school. It's generally a larger document with broader requirements for the school district. In legal terms, both would indicate that the child needs special accommodations. In other words, special education, we have a special needs student. But the implications outside of the school are really only delivered by this EHCP, or at least the school district only has a legal obligation inside of an EHCP outside of the school. Otherwise, its confines are purely in the school as defined by an IEP. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.